All of Prince William and Kate Middleton's children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, are third, fourth, and fifth in line for the throne, respectively. So how much do you know about these children in such demanding positions? Here's the truth about Prince William and Kate Middleton's kids. There are a lot of royal protocols, some practical, others bizarre. According to Hello Magazine, it's against royal protocol for two or more heirs to the British throne to fly in the same airplane. It's a somewhat depressing rule, but it's to ensure that the line to the throne is maintained should the absolute worst happen. William and Kate have broken this rule once. When Prince George was just nine months old, his parents took him on the same flight that they were traveling on to Australia. But on a trip shortly thereafter to New York, the royal parents left their baby prince at home. It's an unfortunate protocol, but it makes sense. And given that the next four heirs to the British throne all exist within one family, it's safe to say that extra precautions are a must. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis are all relatively young, so it makes sense that not a ton is known about them. Prince William and Kate are also known for protecting their private lives, but every now and then they'll drop some hints about their children's personalities. According to the Daily Mail, William attended an event held by the Welsh Rugby Charitable Trust, of which he is a patron, and spoke about his kids with the former rugby players and their families. William shared that his children were doing, quote, very well, but that he and Kate were preparing for their daughter's teenage years. William also shared that Charlotte was a, quote, very easy and sweet child, but added that he's bracing for her older years, he said. But all the fathers say to me, just you wait, when they get to 9 or 11, they get crazy. I'm looking forward to it. There will be some drama. When they speak in public, William and Kate sometimes drop little pieces of information about their kids. For instance, Prince George apparently likes to wear a robe. He's reportedly a fan of helicopters, and he apparently doesn't like Canadian leader Justin Trudeau. This kid has a bold personality, there's no doubt about it. And his mom revealed one of his other favorite things, pancakes. While attending an event, Kate was asked by a four-year-old where her son was. Kate explained that he was at his nursery school making pancakes. She also told the curious little boy that George is a fan of thunderstorms. Life as a royal can consist of a decent amount of traveling. In a pre-pandemic world, working royals would go on elaborate tours of foreign countries to represent the crown, so it comes as no surprise that royal family members speak more than one language. According to Express, Prince William speaks English, German, French, and Gaelic, and it looks as though his children are following in his multilingual pursuits. According to People magazine, even though Princess Charlotte is so young, she speaks some Spanish. Her nanny is originally from Spain and has been teaching Charlotte the language. She also attends the Wilcox Nursery School, chosen by her parents due to the impressive team of educators, which no doubt is helping her along with her linguistic skills. Charlotte's older brother, Prince George, also speaks some Spanish. According to Reader's Digest, he could count the numbers up to 10 in the language by the time he was four years old. If they're anything like their dad, the Cambridge children will be multilingual before they know it. If you're confused as to who's in line for the British throne, you're not alone. According to the official royal website, the line of succession to the British throne is made up of the following. Queen Elizabeth II is the reigning monarch. When she's no longer queen, her son, Prince Charles, will become king. His son, Prince William, will assume the throne after that. I felt very, very, uh, very privileged, yeah. Here's where William's kids come in. Prince George, William's first son, is third in line to the throne, followed by his sister, Princess Charlotte. The youngest Cambridge child, Prince Louis, is fifth in line. He's followed by his uncle, Prince Harry, who is sixth in line. Harry is followed by his son, Archie, who's seventh in line. All of this could change if William and Kate have another baby. It would push Harry and Archie down on the list. And due to the succession to the Crown Act, which passed in 2013, Charlotte can't be displaced in line by her younger brother. Prince Louis is the youngest child of William and Kate, but he's already made himself known on the public stage. He became an overnight internet sensation in 2019 due to his highly relatable facial expressions. According to Marie Claire, Louis made his public debut at the Trooping the Color, a yearly parade that marks Queen Elizabeth's birthday. But he wasn't exactly down for the event and gave some of the all-time best stinky faces. First was his expression while sitting in his mom's arms on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. Louis was having absolutely none of it, and the internet ate it up. Things got even better when photos of Louis peering through the window at the crowds went viral. His so-called side-eye really resonated, and people became instant fans of the little prince. Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis all may be in line for the British throne, but they seem to live pretty normal lives as children. And like all good kids under the age of 10, they've been given some pretty great nicknames. 
Let's start with George. According to The Sun, George went through a phase of introducing himself as Archie, which is slightly confusing given that his cousin is named Archie, but his parents have been known to call him their little grape, PG, his Prince George initials, and PG Tips after the T brand. Moving on to his sister, Princess Charlotte, the middle Cambridge child has a couple of nicknames given to her by her parents. According to HuffPost, Kate calls Charlotte Lottie, which is pretty adorable. Prince William, on the other hand, has a very enduring nickname for her, Mignonette, originating from the French word for cute. The youngest Cambridge child, Prince Louis, has a nickname given to him from his siblings. According to Closer Weekly, George and Charlotte call their little brother Lulu. How adorable is that? Prince Louis is arguably the internet's favorite Cambridge baby, but he's been setting records since day one. According to Reader's Digest, Louis was born on April 23, 2018, and while he wasn't William and Kate's first baby, he was their heaviest. Louis weighed 8 pounds 7 ounces when he was born. He weighed more at birth than either Prince George or Princess Charlotte, but his record-breaking weight at birth extended past his immediate family. To date, Louis is, quote, the number one heaviest newborn heir to the throne in at least 100 years. Yes, you heard that correctly. Louis is the biggest baby born into the royal crown lineage in over a century, making him a record-breaker in more ways than one. However, Louis isn't the heaviest royal baby to ever be born. Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter, Zara Tyndall, gave birth to her daughter in 2018, who weighed in at 9 pounds at birth, outperforming the little prince. But given that Louis is directly in line for the throne, his birth weight stands out from the crowd. It's always a little bit intriguing to think about the day-to-day -day lives that royal family members lead. After all, we typically see them in public settings at royal events, and they're always super put together. Even the little Cambridges, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, are for the most part always on their best behavior. So it's important to remember at times that they're just kids. According to Vogue, George and Charlotte are big fans of preparing food with their mom on a regular basis. Kate shared that she, quote, frequently gets her two eldest children to cook with her, and it's a sight that we'd love to see. So what do the heirs to the British throne like to cook with their mom? Their favorite cheesy pasta and homemade pizza dough made from scratch. According to Town & Country, George is a big fan of spaghetti carbonara, and Charlotte loves olives, as Vogue pointed out. So who would like to join this family of five for dinner? Prince George, who's third in line to the British throne, could very easily become king one day. However, that's a reality about his life that his parents have more or less kept away from him, at least while he's a young kid. According to People magazine, Prince William shared that he and Kate have tried to keep George's life as normal as possible. Even though George is not from an ordinary family, they try to keep his life as grounded as they can. William told the publication, I love my children in the same way any father does, and I hope George loves me the same way any son does to his father. There will be a time and a place to bring George up and understand how he fits in in the world, but right now it's just a case of keeping a secure, stable environment around him and showing as much love as I can as a father. It sounds like the best approach, because life as a royal certainly seems to come with its pressures. A lot of kids get interested in dance early on, and it looks like Prince George and Princess Charlotte are no different, because both of them have taken an interest in dancing. According to Hello! Magazine, Prince William shared while at a Commonwealth Day reception that his daughter, quote, loves dancing. Additionally, Charlotte's older brother George has studied ballet at school, and as Dance Magazine pointed out, he really enjoys it. So if you're clued into the news, you'll know what's coming next. During a segment on Good Morning America in 2019, host Lara Spencer listed off the curriculum that George would be studying at school. When she got to ballet, the tone of her voice reportedly changed into what some called patronizing and provoking, and she essentially made fun of the young prince's desire to dance. Prince William says George absolutely loves ballet. I have him. news Love for you, that. Prince William. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> After Spencer's attitude landed her in a lot of hot water, she tried to clear up the damage. I screwed up. I did. The comment I made about dance was insensitive, it was stupid, and I am deeply sorry. Here's a reminder, dance is for everyone, George included. Prince George may be the oldest and Prince Louis might be the internet sensation, but Princess Charlotte is apparently the boss, and to be honest, it makes sense. Not only is she the only girl amongst her siblings, but Charlotte is also the middle child, so some spunk is expected. According to Vanity Fair, the princess's parents know that Charlotte is pretty much in charge of her siblings. While attending an event at a war memorial, Kate had a talk with another parent in attendance and revealed that Charlotte was not only, quote, growing up really fast, but she was the one in charge of things. The fellow mom in question, Samantha Burge, revealed, 
We have both got two-year-olds and they are ruling the roost. It was a bit of a mummy chat. Honestly, we would love to see Charlotte in her full sibling glory, telling her brothers what to do. But it doesn't seem like there's any sibling rivalry between the royal kids because Birch said that according to Kate, George and Charlotte were quote, becoming really good friends. Let's hope that lasts. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.